Hey everyone, so just wanted to make a short video uh, just showcasing the fact that using the Kern Bypass app or tweak rather, I have managed to actually get Fortnite working on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now I did also test this with Pokemon Go because somebody did also request that. Unfortunately, I've not actually been able to get um, Pokemon Go working. I did also test uh, Call of Duty on my son's phone. Um, Fortnite, I've managed to replicate on both. I've not bothered to actually download um, Call of Duty on mine. However, what I have done is downloaded Fortnite. I've already run this once just to make sure that it did actually work and it was working perfectly fine. But what I'll do is I'm hoping this will actually keep recording and it'll actually um, keep the audio as well while I actually go in, in game. Um, now, unfortunately, the Kern Bypass uh, method hasn't actually, it's not perfect. So that I would have hoped that um, in the past, I, th I believe it was on 13.4.1 or, or something like that. Um, some of those firmwares, um, pretty much everything was working. The Kern Bypass was working for everything. I don't know whether this is de device specific um, or whether basically people have, uh, it's mainly the banking apps, they've gotten on to that particular method and they've they've managed to implement a workaround. But basically, um, none of the banking apps that I've tested, Barclays, Halifax, they're the, the main ones and a few other ones that I actually downloaded and tested whilst um, early this morning whilst I was actually at work. It absolutely drained my battery life doing it. Um, but obviously I wanted to try and do as much as I could to try and help you guys out. Now, unfortunately, it, it doesn't seem to have helped with any of those particular ones. Um, and it did require the M, -term M terminal uh, code uh, adjustment. On my son's phone, I did actually try it uh, having just uh, downloaded Kern Bypass. My son actually tried it himself and that did not work for him. And then as soon as I entered the um, M terminal and I entered the code and basically changed the root FS, at that point, basically, it did actually start working. So that obviously shows that this method does still work. And obviously, the fact that it's working on my phone as well shows that it's not um, device specific in terms of uh, being A12 devices or below. Um, but obviously, unfortunately, it's not it's not going to work for everything. So obviously, if you are watching this for other apps, then the only thing I can suggest is obviously try it. Um, I, I can't physically test out every single app out there. So uh, basically, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video. I'm going to show that it actually works in this video. And then what I'll do is I'll do a tutorial, step by step tutorial on exactly what you need, exactly what you have to enter and any uh, subsequent processes that you might uh, want to try. Um, the reason for that is I did actually see a recommendation that possibly some people found that um, with po Pokemon Go, for example, if, if you kill the app, uh, sometimes that helps, that didn't work. If you respring, that helps, that didn't work. If you restart a str uh, springboard, that helps, that also didn't work. And then the final one was basically if you just restart the whole phone and basically rerun your jailbreak, that also did not work for Pokemon Go either. Now, the only thing I haven't done is actually remove and reinstall the application. However, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Now, having said all of that, there is also one alternative as well, which is, um, I believe it's called App Store Plus Plus or something, uh, something like that, where you, you could possibly download an older version. So I may actually try that as well. Um, that is an absolute battery killer because of how... Um, how hot the phone actually gets and obviously because i was actually doing this at work over a really really poor 4g signal um it i didn't really have the chance to to test it properly but that's something that um i'll look into once i'm i'm basically sure that i've exhausted all other options um because essentially with banking apps it probably doesn't make any difference with any of the gaming apps it's probably going to make more of a difference if you're having to download a older version especially if it's as Fortnite is if it's an online one so i'm hoping the audio is still coming through as you can see it's now logging in and essentially we want to get to the the, the drop point i'm not a for, Fortnite gamer basically my son plays it all the time he's crazy about it but i've 
basically I've personally played it maybe once or twice. Uh, I don't really game on my phone to be perfectly honest. Generally I won't have any games installed. Uh, the phone is basically mainly for, for work, for um, social media and obviously for, for YouTube. Uh, film, uh, video editing, all of that kind of stuff, photography. Um, generally I'm more more on that side of things as opposed to being um, much of a, a, a mobile gamer. However, obviously, to test this out, I wanted to actually test it on my personal phone. Right, let's see if I can get this to load up. And obviously, the fact that you can see... Uh, what was this tweet called? Uh, touch something. Uh, basically, the, the little touch icon the fact that you can see this also proves that i am still jailbroken this is a jailbreak tweak that i actually installed by the way if you haven't actually checked out my other jailbreak videos um go into the playlist go into either iphone or just go into my main videos list i've got loads of uploads on various different things And as you will see shortly, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> However, that is obviously not not the point. In fact, I don't know. I don't know. Am I already in the game? No. There's a countdown. So here we go. So normally, at this point, as soon as you drop, as soon as you launch, it actually kicks you out. And as you can see, this is working perfectly fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and land and I'll probably get killed straight away because I'm so, so bad at this. I think that proves the point that yes, Fortnite is definitely working on my jailbroken iPhone. So, um, as I say, what I'll do is this was just literally proof that it does actually work. What I will do is I'll do a step by step. I don't have time for that today, unfortunately, so I will get that made tomorrow and I will be posting it tomorrow. Um, there are already videos scheduled for tomorrow. Um, some are jailbreak videos, some are just uh, general videos from the channel. I actually have videos recorded all the way up to, I believe it's the 24th of July. So that's one video per day. So you will quite often see two, maybe three videos per day popping up. And all the extra ones are ones that I'm actually recording on the side. But there, there's always going to be one video per day at least popping up. Anyway, that's all for today. So as, as always, basically, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Get me up to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. And that will help me make more content like this and bring it to you guys faster. Thank you.